Hi everyone. Hey, today we're going to make some, do some fun color adjustments by using our selection tool, layer masks, and also changing the hue and saturation to change just a portion uh, of a picture. Now that you guys understand how to use a layer mask. Uh, we're going to start off with this image for these eyes. And we're going to just take this file and we're going to drag them right over here to Photoshop. And what we're going to do is we're going to, well, first let's pull down the tab, make our own little, like, make our workspace the way you prefer. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the color of our eyes by, um, again, like I said, just using the selection tool, layer mask, and changing the hue saturation. Now, it's a little bit different process, but it's uh, fairly similar. So let's go to our quick selection tool here. And I'm going to try to select just the eye area. So let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's go uh, Z for zoom, drag the file, space bar, move it over, and let's go to our quick selection tool by W um, on our keyboard. And let's left bracket, left bracket to reduce the size. And I'm just going to kind of drag the area of the eyes. Now, this is actually a little tricky. It doesn't do a very good job, but I'm going to leave it like that. I know I got outside the eyeball right here, but I'm going to leave it just like that. Let's hold spacebar to pan across and select the other eye, color of the eye. All right, good. I'm going to leave it like that. A little bit of a mistake here. Now, we actually don't have to add a layer mask to this. It's going to do it for us automatically when we go to our, our adjustments. And I'm going to click on this little 50-50. And we're going to drop down to hue and saturation. And we'll have uh, the properties toolbar should pop up if it's not already there. And we are going to drag this hue slider left and right and watch what's going on to the eyeballs at the same time. Let me move this over. We can watch at the same time. Let's space bar down. We can see. There we go. All right, so let's see what's going on with the hue saturation. We could go through all these different colors here and make some adjustments. We're going to make kind of some bright blue, some turquoise. And you know what? If you want to see if, what they looked like without this hue saturation, let's go and turn on the eyeball on this, on this layer adjustment. Yeah, okay, they're already kind of a, a aqua blue. Let's turn that back on. So let's go for just something different in the meantime. Now, if we want to go real different, what we're going to do is we're going to increase the saturation. Saturation is, let's say, the amount of paint we can throw at something. So we're going to fully saturate it, put a ton. Oh, okay. Now there's a point where it might get a little bit too wild. So let's go purple there. There we go. Let's just go. This is good and easy to see. This is a lot different than it was originally. Turn the visibility off and on. But as you can see, this is what I was talking about. Our layer mask, when I first made my selection with the quick selection tool, I went to the outside. But there's a reason we didn't do this assignment earlier is because we now you need to know how to change your layer mask, which we didn't add this, but it was all automatically added to this layer. And you know, so I'm on my layer mask now, uh, shown by this white box. And you know, to adjust a layer mask, it's just a brush, B for brush, and you got black and white. And that's it. We're just going to uh, black. Again, black is what covers. That's the mask that, that covers the mask. That just all covers it. Control Z. And white, let me hit X on my keyboard, is what reveals. I could bring back. This would be sh making the, the layer mask have a bigger opening. As you can see, there's this now big white spot in there. Let's go Control Z. But I just want to fix up the part of our layer mask that's the outside. So let's go to black. Let's hit X. I'm going to reduce the size. And I'm going to paint in black just to get rid of this stuff on the eyelashes on the outside. And this little part on the pink here. All right. Okay. Um, but I, uh, there, there's a little part. Let's go ahead and switch it back. And I'm just going to click there. And there we go. Okay, I think I got that side pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit space bar. And I need to paint in black to cover up. Let's hit X to cover up this part on the outside. There we go. That's pretty good. All right, so we're going to do two parts of this. This part of this assignment, you're going to do two color changes. You're going to do the eyes and lip color also. Now, if we want to do the lip color, we're going to go back to our, our, our quick selection tool. But if you go to your quick selection tool, nothing's going to happen right now because there is, well, it's grabbing random stuff. I don't know what's actually grabbing right there. What we need to do is we need to make sure we go back to our, our layer that has the actual image and the pixels for the lip color. So let's go back to our background. Now I'm going to make my selection, and let's I'm going to highlight or just kind of click and drag over this part. And again, I'm going to. This doesn't have to be super perfect. Once you make your selection, again, you don't have to 
you don't have to click on the add layer mask button. We just jump right next over to the 50-50, the black and white half circle, and go to hue, saturation, and as you can see, oh, this was the second one added, hue, saturation. I'm going to double click on this, and I'm going to put, I'll type lip, oops, not lip, let's go L-I-P, there we go. In this one, I'm going to double click right here, hue, saturation, double click, click at the beginning, I'm going to put I, or eyes. All right, so now I know which layers are really easy. Let's go back to my the lip, the, the second one we did, and we can change the hue, saturation. There we go. Let's go to fun color. There we go. Let's go to a bright green, monster green, or something like that. All right. Now I'm going to do this because I'm going to show you some. Let's let's we're going to make some adjustments to our layer mask on this one. Let's zoom out a little bit. This doesn't look too realistic, realistic because. Um, it's kind of like a hard line, and if you ever put lipstick on, it's not going to be like a real hard edge right there. Um, let's first go ahead and clean up our layer mask by going to our black brush. I'm going to go to brush, and I'm going to go to white because I want to reveal or open this up. So I'm going to click in this area, just kind of smooth some of this area out. Let's make this smaller. And this is a little jagged right here, these pixels, so I'm going to go ahead and smooth this out a little bit. Steady hand on your mouse. Um, and let's come over to here and grab this corner also and down here. Um, I don't like this rounded edge. Let me switch to black and I'm going to try to uh, square that a little bit. All right, a little bit better. But still that hard edge doesn't really look too nice. So here's what I'm going to do. On your properties toolbar, we're going to click over here to adjustments. Nope, sorry, wrong spot, right below it. This is hue saturation. This is gonna be for the layer mask. Here's your layer mask change. So let's click to this. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna feather the edge. And we've talked about this before. Feather is kind of the ability to blend in. It kind of softens the edge. So we're gonna increase the feather, feathered edge of the layer mask. And as you can see, it starts to, they got real soft on the edge there. So there's that hard line. This will be way probably too, okay, that was too large, you can't see it. We're gonna Drag it back to probably about, let's say, it's almost a four. Yeah, let's go right there. Four, like a four pixel feather on the edge of the layer mask to kind of soften up to make it look, look a little bit more realistic like it blends in. All right, and there we go. So now we have a, an image with two hue and saturation adjustment layers with layer masks uh, for this image. When you go, turn this, uh, turn this in. I do want you to take a snip of the image and the layers toolbar so I can see that there are two layer hue saturation layer layer changes with layer masks. Are also okay. And part of this, the next part of the assignment, we're going to do this is I do want you to change the color of the sunflower, just the yellow area. Let's change these to different color flowers. The yellow will be different color. And also on this color car, we're going to do again two. Hue saturation changes. I want one change the color of this car here, and also let's do one for these hills right here. Let's make it a little bit more vibrant green, full of life uh, hillside right there. So, um, on the eyes will be two changes: eyes and, and the lip, and then flower, just the color of the flowers in the yellow. And the car one will be to the car and the hills. We're going to change the color. All right. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. Peace.